Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the November update, so the second to last update, the last update before the finale of my 2023 project pan. There's not a lot left at this point, so it should be quite a quick video, so let's get straight on into it. I have got two products leaving the project in this update, the first of which is my perfume. So I am so happy that this is done. I thought this would have been done well before now. Like, I can't believe it's like the 11th month of the project and this has only just finally left. But I am really happy that it is out. So this is my Derek Lamb 10 Crosby Street. Uh, this was Silent Street. It was a very kind of simple white musk fragrance. I wouldn't repurchase it. I think it was too expensive for in terms of the complexity of the scent, etc. Um, and I don't think you actually even can get it anymore, even if I wanted to repurchase it. So, uh, yeah, I'm not particularly sad to see it leave my collection. I'm glad it's left my collection through me using it rather than decluttering it. I'm really excited to get this total towards my 2023 empties as well. So, really pleased that this one is done. And the second item that is done is another spendy one, one that I am looking forward again to getting into those 2023 empties numbers. And it is my Sizzly Clay Mask. We were weighing this, but that is it. It is done. There is zero grams of actual product left. There is only the packaging. Really, really glad this is done. As I said, spendy product. Don't think I'd actually repurchase this particular one. I really do love the Black Rose Mask from Sizzly and I like the blue one, the hydration one. I would repurchase both of those. Black Rose I have repurchased quite a few times now, but this one, which is the Radiant Glow Express Mask, I think it's a good mask if you've got money to burn. You know, I wouldn't say anything against this. I would tell you go ahead and buy it if you really want to, but for what it does, it's kind of a clay mask that brightens your face and I think you can get that at a much lower price point. So I wouldn't be repurchasing this one, but again, so glad that I got the use of it and so glad that I get the value of this into those 2023 empties. I am really, really looking forward to doing my November empties. It's been a good month anyway, but having the two products and two spendy products from my project to add on to it is just like the icing on the cake. The third item to discuss is my foundation. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible. So this has gone down pretty steadily at two grams a month, every month of the project. And that is also what it's come down since the last update. So this is now 16 grams from 18 grams. I did think I would have finished this within the project, but it still feels like it's going. It feels really light. Like I can't believe there's still stuff coming out of it, but yeah, it, it still is going. I do have to leave it, you know, standing up like this to be able to squeeze it out. If I leave it on its side, it's a bit of a pain trying to get product out, but it is still coming. So I, at this point, I'm not sure that this will be done by the next update because I don't even know. It might be one of those ones that by the time we get to the cut open stage, there's only a few uses left once you cut it open. I don't know. It might still happen. It might not. I honestly can't call it at this point but I'm still really enjoying the foundation so I'm not I'm not in any rush to get it out of my collection as such because of the product that it is I think it's a really nice foundation and I would actually repurchase it but I think it is one of the things that I've taken from project planning in the last few years is that I take far longer to go through a foundation than I think I do I always kind of had in my head that if I was like concentrating on a foundation it would be gone like at first I thought it was three months and then I was like, oh, maybe more like six months. But that's two years in a row now that I've had a foundation and a project pan. I didn't finish last year's and it wasn't new when it went in. This one was, again, not new at the start of this year. It already had some out of it. And I can't call it that this is definitely going to be finished next month. So we'll see what next month brings. But yeah, 
I, I think this could be the dregs of this will be going into 2024 with me as my thought process at the moment. I'll update you on my other makeup product, which is my Hourglass Blush. So I had used this 84 times at the last update. The goal was to use it 100 times within the project. And in the last month, I have used it 11 times. So I have got five more uses left to hit my 100 uses. I've used it 95 times. I think like at this point, it's obvious that another five uses is not really going to make very much visual progress here. I did say I'd kind of hit pan almost by accident. I've been trying to make more of an effort to use this side of it but I think maybe just for those last five uses I will actually just try and clean up this side of the pan so that we've got clear exposed pan before the end of the project um, because it, it is coming through on this side so I mean compared to the start of the project it definitely looks different but yeah, 100 uses has not made quite as much of a difference as one might have thought. There's definitely still, I think, at least another 100 uses left in this product. So, yeah, another one that will obviously definitely be going into 2024 with me, but I'm excited to get that 100 uses. I feel that's a really substantial number of times for me to be able to say that I use this product for this year. So, yeah. Another five to go and we've got the hundred, so I can't foresee any problems in hitting that goal. Now the next product, there's been quite a big change in this since the last one. So this is my Fresh Rose Serum. So last update we were here and as you can see it just came down quite steadily. This update we're here. So obviously there's chat here. So this is a rose serum. One of the things I've actually always said about this is that I really like the smell of it and I usually do not like a rosy scent. So I always noticed that I liked the smell of this. What I had noticed over the last few months and I don't think I really said in the videos was that the smell was kind of dissipating but nothing bad was happening in its place and I kept using it in my skin and I was getting the same results so I was like oh it's fine it's just you know over time the smells kind of evaporating but in literally like the last month the smell has not so much like the rose smell is gone the rose smell has been gone for a while it started to smell like straight up chlorine and um, it it does not smell pleasant because of that, rather than using it on my face, what I've been doing is using it kind of like here down. I do have my 12 pans of Christmas project on the go at the moment now, so I did have body moisturising products and that which I've been using from kind of the waist down, but I've been using this uh, sort of all over my chest. So that's how we have gone right down. I've not had any kind of reaction or anything to using it in that way, it's just that the smell has gone, which definitely indicates there is a change in the formula and the product, but no adverse reaction. I just don't really want it as near my nose as it would be if it was going in my face anymore. And the last product to update you on is something I definitely will be taking into 2024, which is my hair oil. So this has come down another little bit. The only thing I would say about this, and I actually hadn't really noticed this happening in real life, it wasn't until I was actually editing the last update that I really noticed it. But in terms of products turning, this oil used to be clear and it's now like quite kind of yellowy. It still smells fine, it still feels fine in my hair and whatever, so I'm going to continue to use it. I'm not seeing any adverse effects and I, there's not any unpleasant smell, which is the key thing. But this has definitely changed colour over the course of the project. I don't know if it's just like, like oxidisation really, with it just being, you know, 
but it's a pump so I don't really know how that I don't know I don't know but yeah I just thought that was kind of funny I hadn't actually noticed it until I was watching when I was editing my last update and I was looking at the clutter base and I was like oh that definitely was clear and it's uh, definitely not now so interesting that that has also happened in this year still enjoying using it not seeing any problems not going to stop using it and um, have brought it down another little bit and we'll just see where we end up I'm not going to finish this by the end of the project but I'll use it for another month and we will get a final reading on it next month So yeah, that is literally everything that's left in the project at this point. So, and two are leaving. So our finale will only have the four products in it. My blush, my foundation, hopefully an empty for the face serum from Fresh and the hair oil. So I will see you next month with those four. I am so excited to get to the finale of this one. If you like project pan content, then as I said, I'm doing my 12 pans of Christmas at the moment. That should go live throughout the Sundays in December so do make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so that you see when they go live and I will see you in my next video. Bye!